a huge mysterious object which acts as a gigantic field shield protected Earth from Leonard's Comet. Many who re read Space News have noticed an unusual interest of astronomers in Venus, which happened uh, before New Year's last year and lasted for several weeks. The main plot of the stories was the unusual rainbow halos around Venus. Since Venus is a planet, then there should be phases. This is understandable and obvious. And if you see the, the previous two videos there are on Venus and the various loops that Venus does as we see from Earth, very strange retrograde motions. It's only incomprehensible that these phases began to be observed with the naked eye despite the fact that 50 years ago these phases could hardly be seen with a powerful microscope, a powerful telescope. All this gave rise to a whole new sphere of discussion. The idea was expressed that Venus has become closer, that it is not Venus but Nibiru, which is passed off as Venus and so on in fiction. Is this fiction? However, even stranger things were observed near Venus on New Year's Eve last year. And there is the Ark Mysterious Shield. What is that? As follows in the video, and you'll find it here in the link, compiled from official NASA images, during the passage of Comet Leonard past Venus, something similar to the wheel of Ezekiel moved towards the Earth, after which a kind of protective shield was formed between the comet of Leonard and that of Earth, or between Earth then and Venus. Moreover, it was formed accurately and certainly did not appear suddenly, since all stages of its growth can be traced in the photographs. Neither the uh, channel's author or the, nor the stunned viewers who watch the video know what it is. Most often, the version is expressed that this shield was installed by advanced aliens in order to protect the Earth from a cloud of debris flying along with the comet. According to another version, this shield and similar shields hanging around the Earth all the time just the fragments of the comet showed this shield. Now, but when, uh, then, what is the shield doing in space? What is a shield doing in space? Keeping people from seeing Nibiru? And in passing, why does Venus seem to be getting closer and we can see its phases without telescopes? The Zahura versus the verses of Venus by the way, the Arabic cultures believe that the original name of Venus is Zuhra. Then those rocks shattered a habitable planet that you know, like Thedon burned Mars and Earth. But the hardest thing was another planet that you know now, like Venus. We call it Zuhra, which means shining. After all, we lived on it. It was a real paradise, blooming, shining with the beauty of a rainbow of rainbow skies. Back in the age of the given, giving of life, when there were two suns here, my family and I landed on a paradise planet and we founded the first settlements there. We made friends with the Fedonians, who like us came to the sun system from other worlds of the stars. Zuhra turned out to be very suitable for life because the plants were already there and some animals were brought there by the Fedonians. Gradually we mastered and plant the planet and planted marvelous gardens and forests, but that monstrous disaster destroyed everything." End quote. The Nusians gave a start to the civilization of ancient Arabia after resettlement on Earth, the uh, theory goes. In any case, what we saw in the video looks like something is guarding the Earth. It appears to be protecting Earth from debris fields that followed Leonard's comet. A devastating meteorite from this field of debris could have fallen to Earth, but we are in luck. Or is it not just luck? It seems that luck has nothing to do with it. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This is on Soul Ask. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.